this video I will be giving information regarding sketch and detailing of singly reinforced concrete beam supported on either ends. Let us take an example. Clear span of the beam in between the support is of 4.8 meter. Bearing at the support is nothing but width of the beam is of 300 millimeter. Width of the beam is of 300 millimeter. Overall depth of the beam is of 500 millimeter. Main reinforcement consists of five numbers of 20 mm dia bar provided in two layers, two numbers of 12 mm dia bar as anchor bar, and stirrups which is of two leg 8 mm dia bar at 180 mm center to center near the support on either ends up to a distance of about 1.2 meter and at 220 mm center to center for the remaining portion. If a beam is supported on either ends, we call it as a, a, sim, a simply supported beam and we also know its usual behavior in the loading if the beam is subjected to a load it undergoes deformation the lower part of the beam which gets strained the tension zone will be developed at the bottom and upper part of the beam which gets compressed the compression zone will be developed at the top now let us sketch and detail a singly reinforced rc beam for the given data using autocad application after opening the AutoCAD application, first I need to set the units for my drawing. For that, you need to type UN enter in your command prompt. In this dialog box, I need to select the, the drawing unit. I will be selecting it as millimeter as my drawing unit with precision value as 0. Click OK to escape from the dialog box. Now, in order to create a beam, I need to draw a line. For that, I need to know the length of the line. Now, in the given problem, they have given a clear span it is of 4.8 meter, but my current unit it is in millimeter. Therefore, 4.8 meter will be equal to 4,800 millimeter. Along with the support on either end, it is of 300 on either ends. Therefore, total length of the beam for which I need to draw a line or to create a line it is of 5400 millimeter. For that length, I need to create a, a line. For that purpose, first you need to type L enter in your command prompt. Place a point on the screen. In order to get, obtain a straight line, you need to switch on ortho mode. You need to type the distance for which you need to create a line. Uh, press escape after creating the line in order to create a beam I need to offset this line for a length equal to that of depth of the beam. In the present problem, the depth of the beam is of 500 millimeter. For that length, I need to offset this line in order to create a beam. For that purpose, you need to type O enter that is offset enter. You need to specify the distance. Overall depth of the beam is of 500 millimeter. Click on the screen in order to create the a line now we need to join these two lines on either sides after this we need to create a support which is of 300 millimeter for that you need to select this line type o enter that is offset to enter specify the offset distance offset distance is of 300 millimeter now click on the screen in order to find the supports now you need to join these two lines Now, if 
if you want to remove these two paths you need to select this type tr enter the stream enter in your command prompt and if you want to remove unwanted part in your drawing you can use this command now this is a beam simply supported beam having clear span of 4.8 meter bearing of 300 millimeter on either sides and depth of the beam is of 500 millimeter you want to check the distance between two lines you can use this command dimension linear place between two points in order to obtain the distance between two points of a line get those values it is not clear now I can select this and type M enter as max enter now if you want to hatch these two portions I can type H enter in your command prompt or you can simply click on this icon now here we need to select the hatch pattern I will be selling it, selecting it as ANS132 now place a point on a screen wherever you want to hatch that portion press enter to finish the job since, it, since the hatch pattern is not clear you can select it Place the point on the place a uh, cursor on the on the point. We get an option that is hatch scale. Now, simply moving it in a diagonal direction, you can get the hatch pattern. Just escape to finish the job. Next thing we need to create, we need to draw the reinforcements. Now for that I need to select this line I need to offset this line for a distance of about effective cover but we know that for a beam the nominal cover is of 20 mm varying this from 20 mm to 25 mm and the effective cover is given by clear cover plus half of the diameter of main reinforcement the clear cover is 20 let us assume the clear cover as 20 mm and the main reinforcement the given problem it is of 20 millimeter therefore 20 clear cover plus half of the diameter is 20 plus 20 by 2 that will gives you 30 millimeter for that distance you need to offset this line it is asking you to specify the distance i will be entering it as 30 millimeter 30 millimeter press enter please on the screen you know, to create Effect of all round effect cover of 30 millimeter. Since the reinforcement should be provided in two rows, again I am going to offset this line for a distance of about 30 millimeter. Now you can trim those parts wherever it is not needed. For this, you can use the trim command. Type TR enter. After drawing the reinforcements, we need to provide the stirrups. Now, in the problem, they have given stirrup is of two leg eight millimeter bar at 180 millimeter center to center near the support up to distance of about 1.2 meter. 
for that purpose you know to mark a distance of 1 point meter I will be selecting this line and I am going to offset this line for a distance of about 1 point meter or 1200 millimeter on either sides Parts are removed by using trim command. Now, up to this length, I need to provide a syrup and a spacing of about 180 mm center to center on either side for the remaining portion for the middle portion I need to provide a spacing of about 220 mm center to center in order to provide that spacing for a stirrup I need to offset this line for a distance of about 180 mm and the procedure is equal to the same in order to create For a spacing of about 180 mm center to center. Now I have marked the line at the center of the beam. Now I am going to offset this line for a distance of about 220 mm on either sides as it is specifying the problem. The longitude section is over now. I need to do the, the cross section part. Now, this is a, a beam, a single reinforced beam, where five numbers of bars which are provided at the bottom and two numbers of anchor bar is provided at the top. And the total depth of the beam is of 500 millimeter. These two are supports having a width of about 300 millimeter, and the clear span in between the support is of 4.8 meter. Now, I need to draw the cross section. For that, I need to draw a beam for a width of about 300 millimeter and overall depth of about 500 millimeter. So, I want to create a beam. You need to type L enter in the command prompt. Switch on the ortho mode. And beam is of 300 millimeter wide and 500 millimeter deep. I need to offset these lines for a distance of about 20 millimeter as we have assumed it as a nominal cover for that you need to type O enter I need to specify the offset distance as a clear cover of 20 millimeter now I can use trim command to remove the unwanted part in your drawing now 
As it is specified, the width of the beam is of 300 mm and depth of the beam is of 500 mm. We need to provide 5 bars of 20 mm diameter in 2 layers. I have provided 3 bars in the, in the bottom layer and 2 bars in the top layer. And at the, ten, at the compression zone, we need to provide 2 bars of 12 mm, 12 mm diameter as anchor bar. And these two are 2 leg 8 mm diameter and 180mm center to center vertical syrups after drawing the cross sections we need to label it as it is specified in the problem here I have detailed all the parts now this is a, a beam it is having a clear span of 4.8 meter the width of the support on either side is of 300 mm overall depth of the beam is of 500 mm and up to a distance of 1.2 uh, meters on either end we need to provide a vertical stretch of 2 leg 8 mm diameter at 180 mm center to center for the remaining portion i need to provide 2 leg 8 mm diameter as stirrups at 220 mm center to center and the bottom we need to provide 5 bars of 20 mm bars in two layers and at the top in the compression zone we need to provide two numbers of 12 mm bar as anchor bar this is a longitudinal section when it comes to cross section the cross section of the beam is of 300 by 500 breadth of the beam is 300 and overall depth of the beam is of 500 and these two are the vertical syrups which is of two leg 8 mm bar at 180 mm center to center at the bottom we need to provide the main reinforcement which is of 5 bars of 20 mm diameter provided in two layers. Thank you for 